In this video, we will see the application of definite integral in economics. The question is, if the investment function is being given us, that is, i t is equal to 9000 under root t, i denotes the investment, t is the time, we have to find out the capital formation from the end of the first year to the end of the fourth year. The second part says to calculate the number of years required before the capital stock exceeds to one lakh dollars. Okay, so coming to the first part, <clears throat> we are being given the investment function and we are being told to find the capital formation uh, from the end of the first year to fourth year. That means what we need to you know, find out that is, uh, let me write the investment function first, that is, it is equal to 9000 under root t to find the capital stock from the specific uh, period is we simply or uh, let me write here capital stock will be equal to uh, capital stock let's write it in this fashion will be equal to the definite integral from the end of the first year that is from the year one uh, to year four and we take the integral of nine thousand so t can be written as one upon raised power uh, 1 upon 2 dt okay so this will give us the capital formation from the end of first year to fourth year okay so taking the integral is very simple let's write this 9000 in this fashion outside the integral phase so taking the integral of this the integral of t to the power 1 upon 2 will be equal to that is t to the power 1 upon 2 plus 1 divided by uh, 1 upon 2 plus 1 simple thing if you have x to the power n its integral is simply x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 okay so in place of n we have this so this becomes t to the power 3 upon 2 we have 3 upon 2 here transposing this it will become 2 upon 3 t to the power 3 upon 2 okay so in place of this we will have uh, 2 upon 3 t to the power 3 upon 2 and we evaluate it from first year to fourth year okay so let me rub this out so we have 9000 here we have 9000 now evaluate this first we write in place of t as 4 so we have 2 upon 3 into 4 is power 3 upon 2 then we subtract and evaluate it at first year that is 2 upon 3 in place of t we will have 1 raised power 3 upon 2 solving this we will get 9000 let me see if i can write it in this space so this will become we have 2 upon 3 in place of 4 i can write 2 square and then we have this 3 upon 2 2 and will get cancelled so this becomes 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 upon 3 so in this place we have 16 upon 3 minus uh, so this is here 2 upon 3 when multiplying this will become so let's make the denom we have the denominator same so 16 minus 2 is 14 upon 3 so we will get here 9000 uh, into 14 upon 3 so this is 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 <coughs> Th uh, 14 into uh, 3000 it will come out to be 42000 i guess so the capital formation from the end of first year to the end of fourth year will be equal to 42 uh, you know 42000 dollars this was first part now we are being told to find out so our b part is uh, the, uh, the number of years required before the capital uh, stock exceeds to one lakh dollars okay after how many years it will reach to one thousand uh, sorry one lakh dollars so what does this mean let's write let us say after t years our capital stock capital stock reaches reaches to one one lakh dollars okay 
that means this is our investment function let us write then so from uh, 0 to t let us say the definite interval from 0 to t years our capital stock reaches to one lakh dollars okay so this denotes our capital stock after t years and this should be equal to one lakh dollars okay so we are assuming that after t years our capital stock will be this and this capital stock should be equal to one lakh dollars so let's take then the integral here so we have uh, 9000 okay so in place of t let me write it in this fashion 0 to t so t to the power 1 upon 2 dt should be equal to 1 lakh dollars again simple we have 9000 taking integral from 0 to t minus so in place of t we have this capital t uh, the integral of this we have calculated this comes out to be and let me write it here this comes out to be uh, 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 uh, t to the power 3 upon 2 and we evaluate it from 0 to t years and it should be equal to 1 lakh dollars this gives us we have 9000 here 9000 evaluate it from 0 to t so we have 2 upon 3 in place of this small t we write the capital t that is t uh, 3 upon 2 minus uh, 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 into 0 it will become 0 so i will not write it because i don't have the you know luxury of infinite space it should be equal to 1 one lakh dollars one is ten hundred thousand ten thousand lakh so here we have lake 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 okay so now solving this this will become nine twos are eighteen uh, this comes out to be six okay so this comes out to be six thousand six thousand t to the power three upon two should be equal to leg that gives us transposing it here so t to the power 3 upon 2 will be equal to 1000 upon 6 1 lakh upon 6000 it will come out to be 16.67 here you calculate now what we do we just need to get rid of this 3 upon 2 so we will take the root as 2 upon 3 on both sides so if we have t to the power 3 upon 2 is equal to 16.67 to get rid of this we take the root of 2 upon 3 on both sides here we have also 2 upon 3 so this 3 and 3 2 and 2 gets cancelled we are left with t will be equal to when you solve this out it will come out to be 6.5 that means our capital stock reaches to you know one lakh dollars exactly after 6.5 years that means in the halfway of the seventh year our capital stock will reach to the one lakh dollars okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you